In a situation like this, Jimmy has to be super careful. If he's scared that snake, the snake can bite. We're talking about hospital visits instead of, you know, catching a snake. Being in the bedroom was quite kind of claustrophobic, I guess, intense situation. We're moving objects and you don't know, you might move a pillow and this snake might come out and strike for you. Okay, you ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, as far as I can see. Not under that side. Negative. And nothing no. under that side either. Okay. They can even get up under the sheets. So. Yeah. They get into some strange places. Yeah. And then, oh, you got it? Yeah, he's here. <laughs> Let me have a look. Yeah, brown tree snake, mate. Tree snakes are one of our fastest moving species here in Australia. For it to get any venom into us, they have to bite and latch on and pump it in. To a human, we're talking pain, tingling, um, a bit of swelling. I have heard of people having some nausea, stomach cramps from brown tree snakes. Slightly, Slightly venomous. Good to hear. <laughs> I've got to admit, a little bit of kind of uh, nervousness took over. However, I thrive off that. I love situations that make me feel nervous. I chase fear, so I learn to embrace it. The same with, like, the other snake you dealt with. Oh, no, it was a while. <laughs> <laughs> I like these kind of situations. I like getting my heart going. Brown tree snakes can be very aggressive and can strike when disturbed. So he doesn't think he's been seen, does he? Okay, darling. Oh, oh. Uh, Grab his tail. I got it. All right. Not too far at the end of the tail. There we go. That's it. You got it under control, mate. Okay. All right. Put it on the ground. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Surely, if she wants, she should go straight through this, couldn't she? Oh, she can poke her nose through here. So that's you've got to be careful with your feet. Uh, I saw that uh, section of the fence where it's just torn to bits, like. Yeah.